working with the Arts Council Collection and the Partnership Programme has been a fantastic opportunity for town and it's really allowed us to bring a huge breadth of artists into the building and put on some fantastic exhibitions under a range of themes. At Altitude is a selective look at the historical impact and the continuing appeal of the aerial image. The local landscape and its aerial potential has been a huge inspirational factor, I think, in creating the exhibition. Um, the local landscape is made famous by Eric Revillius, a major figure in our collection, and we've included a number of kind of painting works that kind of follow in that tradition in kind of an aerial flyby salute to that history. The reason Sussex is so good for paragliding is twofold. Of course, we're in the southern part of England, so we have the best weather by a country mile drier, sunnier, less windy, but also the rock type, the chalk, leaves very smooth, rounded hills. They're, they're soft hills. You feel the life in the downs. Peter Lanyon, of course, is a, a famous artist who became a glider. His painting, which is included in the exhibition, really captures that sense of freedom and elevation. Key work, again, in the exhibition is a work called Shadow Sights by the artist Janan Al-Ani which looks at this apparently empty terrain of the Middle East, but shows kind of human scars on a, on a landscape and this history of conflict and worldly ambition. When we look up at the sky at night, the brightest light we'll often see are satellites gathering images which are then relayed back to governments and information agencies. And this collection of images is a really remarkable resource that the artist Mishka Henna has used. And his series, Dutch Landscapes, is a really remarkable body of work that shows this. With Peter Lanyon's work, there's a kind of exhilaration about flying through the air. There's a definite movement and speed in his work and a kind of thrill, whereas in mine, I don't feel there's that at all. In fact, I've always thought that in a way, with these works, the stable horizon's gone and we're, we're in free fall, heading to earth with a bang. And maybe for a brief moment, I've just taken a slice of time as we're falling back to earth. We've worked with a number of different groups exploring both themes and artworks in the exhibition at altitude. That's covered our summer holiday period, which has been a fantastic opportunity to get out of the gallery and work on the beach. Mapping, using natural materials found on the beaches. We've worked with about 600 uh, people through that programme, most of them new to the gallery. And as part of that programme, they're encouraged to come back to the gallery with the work that they've made and see it afresh. When you're low above the downs, you feel that you're included in the hills. You, you're very aware of the the rise and fall of the ground and the exact shape of it, like a, a frozen sea wave. When you get higher up, you have a very different perspective. Mankind's minor machinations really do fall away. 